Hello love bugs! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Sarah and I help teach people find inner happiness through fitness and spirituality. And today, we're doing something super different. If you can't tell, I'm in the car. Uh, and if you couldn't tell by the title of this video, I am going to get microbladed and micro shaded today. Totally different from what I'm usually doing here on this channel. However, I figured why not bring you guys along? Why not do something different? Why not shake it up? So what I'm gonna do in this video is I wanted to show you a before because I'm on my way to you know the salon now explain to you guys the process, the difference between micro shading and micro blading. And then I'm gonna take you through the recovery process. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this. I have zero tattoos, literally never done anything like this before. So I figured it's an adventure for me and I'm going to share it with you guys, help you out if you decide to, you know, wanna get this done. It's about a two and a half hour procedure and I will see you guys after. Hey guys, got back a few hours ago. Um, I will go over all the details on my next check-in, but I just wanted to kind of get on here and show you what it looks like on the same day I got it done. So we will call this day one, and I'll take you through the whole healing process until we get to the end. And when I pop on here tomorrow, I'll explain the whole procedure and the difference between microblading and micro shading because I got both. Hey, hey, day two. So it's officially been just under 24 hours since I got my eyebrows done. So I kind of wanted to go over with you guys the process, how it worked, the pain level, explain what it looks like moving forward as far as care instructions. I do want to let you guys know, I'm not going to check in every single day if there's no change with my eyebrows. I'm just going to check in on the days that, you know, Something juicy's happening. First, I'll give you a little close up about 24 hours in. So, as you can see, they are a little intense. They're a little shiny because I have to put this like ointment on every three to four hours or so for the first six days. Basically, this is the darkest that they're going to be. A lot of the pigment's going to fall off and they're gonna start scabbing in a few days. And then what I do is I go back for a retouch in about five or six weeks. That's kind of where we're at today. I'm feeling really good. They're not bothering me. They're not itching yet. There's no pain. I don't feel sore. So, I mean, so far, so good. <laughs> Okay, so what is the difference between microblading and micro shading? So microblading is typically the default of what people know about and basically it's just kind of what it sounds like. It's like this little mini blade or little mini kind of like razor and it's just like a little single sharp edge and basically all she does is she makes little strokes um, I'll insert a picture right here and you can see kind of the difference between them all like you'll see just the micro shaded one has a bunch of little you know strokes in it and they go a little deep into the skin and then what she'll do is fill those spots in with the color which is what you can kind of see you know right in here and then because I have some spots that are more um, bald or not filled in I also did the micro shading and what that is, is if you want to kind of imagine a kind of like a really, really tiny needle and imagine like five or six of them in like a little bunch and then she kind of puts them in there <laughs> and then does the same thing and fills those in, you know, with the uh, pigment. When I got there, she kind of explained everything to me. She put a uh, numbing cream on both of the eyebrows and then kept that on there for about 20 or 25 minutes. And then we got started. We picked out the shade together and basically we did a lighter shade for the blading because it's a little more intense and then like a half darker shade for the shading. So I didn't want to go too dark or too like large or intense. Keep in mind that you can always go more. You can't always go backwards. So I'd rather do a, like, I really wanted to go darker, but she was kind of like not sure about it. And I do want a more natural look. 
So I said, okay, hey, let's do the lighter shade for now. We'll see how it goes until I come in for my touch up and then we can decide whether, you know, I wanna go darker or not. So just keep in mind, can always go darker, can't go lighter. So after she, you know, did the numbing cream, what she did is did all these, you know, angular maps, you know, mathy type looking things. She had like all these lines across my face. And from there, she basically, as you can see, she kind of filled in the outline of what the brows were going to look like and made sure that I liked that. I do like the little arch that she gave me. I was really looking for something like that. I am not an eyebrow kind of gal. I'm not very knowledgeable about them. I knew I wanted some type of shape, but I told her like, you're the professional. I don't know, just do your thing. <laughs> Once she did that, you know, she cleared the shape with me and I said, yeah, you know, we're good to go. So lay down on the table. She got started with the blading first. And I would say, I mean, the blading did not hurt. And I have such a low pain threshold. Like I am a big baby, I don't like it. So that was like kind of what I was the most nervous about for this, but the blading just truly did not hurt at all. After that, what she does is she fills in, you know, the, the little cuts with the pigment. Now that I would say, it doesn't hurt, but it kind of burns, like it stings a little bit, but it wasn't unbearable. It wasn't bad. It's just kind of like a ooh, ah, ooh kind of thing. <laughs> And then once she was done with the microblading, which I would say took probably about an hour, she started with the micro shading. That definitely hurt a bit more. And I also think the numbing cream was starting to wear off. So she did apply a little more, but I would say the last like 45 minutes or so was a little rougher than the rest of the process for me. Like I said, I think on your average person, it's not really gonna hurt. But like I said, I'm a huge baby, so it did hurt me. She does say that the micro shading goes in a little bit deeper than the blading. So that could definitely be a possibility. And then obviously when she poured in the pigment for the, the shading, it also stung as well. So by the end, it was hurting a little bit. I was a little sore, I was still a little numb for a few hours and it just felt very tight. You know, that was really it. I mean, that, that was the process. It was from start to finish, you know, from putting the cream on in the beginning, it was two and a half hours on the dot. Very easy process. I get a little anxious when I get stuff like this done, like when I got this done, when I get my hair done, when I get my nails done, I just get like a little antsy towards the end. So that was definitely happening. <laughs> <laughs> I felt so bad because I had to keep being like, I need to like sit up and stretch. I need to like walk around for a sec. Kind of just went throughout the rest of my day living a normal Sarah life. Moving forward, basically you can't get wet for six days. Talk to your, what do they call them? Technician, I guess and see what their process is. But for, you know, my woman, she said, you know, don't get anything wet for six days. Don't go out in the sunlight for six days. Um, which I'm kind of bummed about because it's a snow day here in Pennsylvania and I would love to go outside and do a photo shoot right now. I have a few photographers that are on standby, but I can't get them wet. So I'm a little bummed about it. I hope there's one more snowstorm, you know, after this heals that I can go out and play and shoot in the snow. I did take a little bit of a bath last night. You obviously can't wash your face all the way because it can't get wet. So what I did was I washed my face from kind of like here down. And then I just use makeup wipes for kind of up here and in between. I mean, it's, it just kind of is what it is. <laughs> I did order a dry face wash that should be here sometime this week. My friend that got this done previously said that that really worked well for her. So I will definitely give you guys an update on that. But as of now, we are on day two and I will check in with you guys during the next uh, change. Day five here since I got my eyebrows microbladed and micro shaded and nothing has happened in the last few days but um, I started seeing some very very minor changes today so I figured I'd just pop on here and give you guys a little bit of update. This is what they're looking like. I'm very, very happy with the uh, progression so far. Like I said, nothing's really changed. The only difference that started happening today is that I started feeling the itch. <laughs> oh my God, it's so much worse than I would have ever guessed. But that being said, it doesn't really last very long. So like if I get this like crazy ass itch, I'd say it goes away within maybe like 
two minutes. So it's like, it's like, it feels almost unbearable, but then it goes away really quickly. And that's probably happened like three or four times a day. It's only about, you know, 1 p.m. So it's really not that big of a deal, but I did figure it was of note to let you guys know. I did also wash my hair for the first time today. I've been using dry shampoo for the last five days since I got it done. But today I was like, I just could not do this anymore. <laughs> So what I did was I've actually been taking baths because of not being able to get your eyebrows wet. And I have one of those remover, removable shower heads. So that's really what I did. I, I sat in the tub and I just kind of put it against here, washed my hair, conditioned it. And then to rinse it out was super, super easy. I just freaking put my head back into the tub. And that was it. So it was actually a lot easier than I expected. So washing your hair is easy. And the other thing was I've been putting on this ointment. You can kind of see it's kind of a little shiny. Um, you can't tell too much because I haven't put it on yet today. And the reason was is because I wanted to show you guys kind of what that looked like. I've been putting it on every three to four hours. It's supposed to pretty much keep it like moist. I don't really know too much about why. I just know that I have to do it. So um, I will show you guys what that looks like. This is the product that I've been using. Um, my lady gave it to me. I'm sure you can probably find it somewhere, but I'm pretty sure whoever you end up going to will have some on hand. It's just kind of like a, a jelly. I mean, honestly, it looks like it's just kind of like Vaseline. And all I do is take a Q-tip. See if it can focus there. It's not gonna focus, but it's just a little bit. And then, Basically, for me, I've been liking to space it out kind of like this because I'm finding that it's drying up or getting harder on the ends of my eyebrows where I'm at right now. On like the tail, I guess is what people call it. And then yeah, I just do that a few times a day. I mean, it's... It's honestly, I was really nervous about the whole like not being able to get get them wet thing, but it's been a lot easier than I expected. Like this whole process has been so easy. So far, so good. I'd say it's totally worth it. I've still been working out at the gym. Um, if you look at like the rest of my channel, you'll see that I do lift in the gym about six days a week. Um, you just like can't open your pores up and get really sweaty. I did get a little too sweaty yesterday. I had a really great leg workout and just a little bit of the ink fell. It was kind of like right here and it was able to just come off really quickly with, with some makeup wipes. So um, it wasn't a big deal, but you know, no saunas or anything like that. I'm dying not being able to get a spray tan. I literally always have a spray tan. I go once a week and I feel like a freaking vampire. <laughs> But again, totally is what it is. She said that I can start getting a spray tan um, 10 days if I'm done scabbing by then. But since we're at day five and I'm not even starting to scab yet, I don't know how realistic that is. But I will check in with you guys on the next update. Okay, people. It's freaking day 11. Like, I expected to get on here like every day, every other day and have all these updates with you and take you through the process. But honestly, I guess the process has just been a lot more simpler for me, which has kind of just been a blessing. Um, <laughs> I actually got concerned yesterday and reached out to the woman that, you know, did mine. And I was like, is this okay? Like, I'm not getting scabs. I'm not having the ink fall off. I mean, you can see that it's definitely like lighter and it's like not as filled in as it was before. So I guess it is happening. It's just not as like prominent, like as all of the other videos that I watched before I got mine done. And so I thought there was like something wrong, but she said that maybe my skin is just taking the ink better and it's healing better. So at this point, I am now able to get my eyebrows wet. So I'm not like directly washing them as far as, you know, doing um, like face wash or anything like that, but I am able to wash my entire face. As you can see, I have my regular face makeup on. I've been very careful not to get it in my eyebrows. So like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a little lighter like right here. So, I mean, it kind of looks a little funny. I know it doesn't look as blended, but like, 
I feel so happy to be able to wear real makeup again because I was wearing powder makeup and I usually use liquid foundation and I freaking hate it. I felt like a ghost. I just didn't like it. And she did have me start taking these vitamin E tablets. She calls them pearls. She's so cute. Um, so I wanted to show you guys what those look like. So she has me taking one, one in the morning, one at night. And I also wanted to show you guys that um, water-free face wash that my friend recommended to me. I freaking love it. I highly suggest to buy this and have it before you go get your eyebrows done. Because the thing is, is I ordered it the day I got it done. By the time I got here, I literally only used it for like three days. I will link it in the description below. But like I said, this is something that I wish I had had before I went and got them done. So this would be probably one of my biggest tips. This is it. It's some kind of French face wash. I can't pronounce it. But it's literally just, it feels like kind of like a lotion and you just literally put it all around your face like you would with regular face wash, just make sure you don't get your eyebrows. And then you take a cotton ball, like a damp cotton ball or something like that and you literally just rub it in to take, take your makeup off or you know clean your face. Freaking godsend, I love it. I will probably take it with me to music festivals moving forward so it won't totally go to waste. But I would definitely suggest that. I'll keep checking back in with you guys. Um, Super, super, super happy I did this. Very excited about the way it's looking so far. I've even had guys notice, like my best friend um, said, you still have your eyebrow game up and he doesn't usually notice things like that. And I was like, yes I did, well, thank you for noticing. <laughs> so that is today's update. Here's a little close up. So I'm still not using makeup or anything. So I'll check in with you guys on the next one. But maybe this will be helpful because I was so freaked out that I, w I wasn't going through the same process all these other women were going through getting theirs done. So if you have a process that's happening where it's just not going to change that much or that drastically, like more power to you. <laughs> all right, guys, I'll see you on the next update. You guys know what's so funny, it's day 12, and I was just talking about yesterday how there's just been like no changes, and well, there are changes today. So if you can see, I just wanted to get this before the sun goes down. There's like some ink disappearing in the center right there, see? And apparently that's a normal part of the process where the ink will kind of like go away and then reappear. I also had some flaking in my eyebrows earlier. It literally looked just like kind of like dead skin. Um, I know we're not supposed to pick at it, but it was driving me crazy and it looked like I had dandruff in my eyebrows and I took it out and guess what? I'm fine. So looks like things are start starting to happen now. I'm honestly not loving the bald look. It feels a little like there's a little bit of scabs like kind of towards like the tails here. Like I feel, feel a little bit of hardness right here. But besides that, they feel completely smooth. I haven't put any makeup directly on them yet. I still haven't gotten the spray tan. Probably going to wait like another week before I do that. I usually have a spray tan like 100% of the time and I'm not loving it. <laughs> Definitely not loving this look, but I know it's part of the process. I'm trying my best to trust it and realize it. Because like right now, it looks like, like it did when I went. And I don't love that. So I will see you guys on the next update. Okay guys, I think I am officially healed. This is day 15 and I think, let's turn around this way, let's try this. So I did put on, let me focus there, a little bit of makeup today. Um, I did notice I had, just like I showed you guys the other day, those few little bald spots in the middle. Um, so I do go for a retouch in like two and a half weeks from now where I think she'll be able to fix those but I am seriously obsessed with the shape I think she did a great job and I would highly 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 recommend doing this as long as you go to someone you trust the recovery ended up just being so easy for me I love the arch that she made um, it seems actually a little dramatic on the camera there but it doesn't feel that dramatic in real life to me <laughs> 
but just make sure you go to someone you trust. I'm so beyond ecstatic about my results. I mean, I never like thought I would do something like this and you know, like I said before, I don't have any tattoos or anything like that, but if you're thinking about getting them done, go, 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 get them done. The recovery is not bad at all. The hardest part I would say is really just not getting them wet. I mean, I really didn't even go through a lot of the itching or anything like that and yeah. So I really appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any other videos with me. Um, feel free to check out my other content. It's not typically beauty focused. I do a lot of positivity and uh, motivational speeches and stuff like that. So I love you guys so much. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget, be limitlessly yourself.